Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. So, in this video, I am going to give you the solution for programming assignment of week 5 for programming in Java course. So, let's see the first question. Complete the course segment to catch the arithmetic exception in the following, if any. So, here we have to read two values and get the result. So first of all, cl uh, clear the given comments. So and paste the code that what I, I will give now. So first of all, clear all the uh, given comments. So I'm giving some spaces to make you understand. So here is the code. So this is the code. So I'm going to copy this. Guys, you can uh, pass the video here itself and note it down or you can take screenshot, so anything. So here I am reading two variables A and B. I am declaring a, a result as int variable, the result. So I am uh, used try block and if there is any exception, arithmetic exception, I am using this catch block. So hope you have noted this. Now I am going to show you the execution part. So I am getting back to the inter uh, compiler interface. So I will paste the code here. So this is the code. Guys many people are making uh, some mistakes. Uh, they are unable to even uh, see and type the code here. So guys don't be uh, too fast just simply type what I have shown in the video you will definitely get that result because if I get the result you too also get the result so just need patience and carefully observe what I have typed and you are getting mostly type, uh, type errors so once again clearly watch where I have used small letters and where I have used capital letters so that's it so now I am going to com click compile and run button So if you see here, status is passed, the public test cases, there are two public test cases and both are passed. So let's see the private test case execution by clicking on submit button. So here there are three private test cases and all three are passed. So our solution for first question is 100% correct. So let's see the second question. Before that, here I did not use print ln. I just used print statement only. Because if you use print ln, then here the status would have been passed, but it will give a presentation error. Uh, it will say that passed after ignoring presentation error. So it is also no problem, but. Uh, if you use only print statement then you will get exact one so here there is no print element that's why i am saying that please watch carefully what i am giving the code exactly you can type it here and you will get the exact solution let's see the second question so in the for here this is second program in the following program an array of integer data to be initialized so if there is any exception you, are, you should print you, are, you entered bad data if there is no exception it will print sum of the array total sum of the array so first of all remove this comment so let's see the second question code now so this is first question code and next we will move on to second question second question code so this is the second question code here there is try block Till here it is try block this is catch block so guys carefully write this each and every brace is also very important and see where there are capital letters and where there are small letters braces are very important so I have copied this hope you have noted it down you can take screenshot or pass the video here itself so hope you have do done that so let's 
see the execution so here I am pasting it the code so this is the code I am clicking on compile and run button so here you can see the status is passed let's click on submit button to test private test cases also here the status is passed so our solution for second question is 100% correct so let's see the third one so here they gave the code so remove all the code they have given there are some uh, it is enough to make some changes here but uh, you may get some errors because uh, there are some random changes here and there it's better to remove all that and type again so because it's ma just matter of five minutes to type so nothing problem so just remove all the given code and try what the code I have given now so this is the third question code from here to here I am copying this guys this is try block from here to here and this is catch block so just type whatever I have given you will definitely get that result the code will get executed so hope you have noted it down and let's see whether they this code works or not so I am going to the compiler I am pasting the code here so this is the code that you have to type and let's click on compile and run button so if you see here the status is passed for three test cases and let's see this uh, submit uh, private test case by clicking on submit button here there is only one private test case and it is also passed so our solution is correct let's move on to fourth one so here fourth programming assignment so first of all remove this comment so on type what I have given now I will give the code so this is third question code so this is the fourth question code simple one just implementing with a class so this is the code note this down quickly so let us see the execution part so let's get back to the compiler now hope you have hope you have noted it down so i am pasting it here this is the code very simple one and clicking on compile and run button here <coughs> so if you see that there is only one public test case and it is also passed so let's click on submit button to check private test case passed or not there is only one private test case and it is also passed so our solution is 100% correct for fourth question also let's see the final programming assignment that is fifth programming one so we have to find GCD and remove this comment as, it, as usual let's see the fifth question code this is for fourth one and this is for fifth one the final code so very simple one so note this down quickly guys here uh, this is the reminder when we divide n2 with n1 we will get a reminder value that it is so I am getting back to the compiler hope you have noted it down so let's see the execution so I am pasting the pasting the code here 
so now let's see the compilation to check public test cases here there are two public test cases and both are passed so let's check the private test cases by clicking on submit button so there are two private test cases here also and both are passed so our solution for last question is also 100% correct so friends these are the coding solutions for week 5 programming assignment in programming in java course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share this to your friends so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel i have also given the quiz solutions you can view that so until next video it's goodbye thank you